welcome sa ating new math lesson. Ako nga pala si Sir Waki. At ito ang ating topic ngayon. Annuities or annuity. Ano ba ang annuity? Ito yung pagbabayad ng hindi isang bigayan lang. In other words, people pay by installment. Here are some examples when we pay by installment. Pwedeng motorcycle loan. Usually, kapag naglalabas tayo ng motor, we do not pay by cash or Naguhulog tayo monthly, tama? Sa loob ng tatlong taon. Pwede rin car loan. Housing loan. Or personal loan. Payments by installment are done periodically and in equal amounts. This payment scheme is called annuity. Bago natin i-discuss yung concept ng annuity, tingnan muna natin ang ilang definition of terms na ma-encounter natin sa pag-aaral ng annuity. First of all, we have the annuity. This is a sequence of payments made at equal fixed intervals or periods of time. Payment interval, the time between successive payments. Pwede itong monthly, Pwede ang payment interval natin ay quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. We have the simple annuity. This is an annuity where the payment interval is the same as the interest period. Sabi dyan, dapat pareho ang payment interval sa interest period. For example, kung ang payment interval mo ay monthly, dapat Compounded monthly rin yung interest. Dapat pareha sila. Or, kung ang payment interval mo ay semi-annually, dapat compounded semi-annually din ang interest. Ordinary annuity or annuity immediate. This is a type of annuity in which the payments are made at the end of each payment interval. Pan annuity denoted by small letter T. This is the time between the first payment interval and last payment interval. We also have the regular or periodic payment denoted by capital letter R. This is the amount of each payment Ito na, yung pera na hinuhulog-hulog natin o binabayad natin periodically. Amount of future value of an annuity denoted by capital letter F. This is the sum of future values of all the payments to be made during the entire term of the annuity. Ang future values natin dito, hindi natin pinagpa-plus-plus ang lahat ng regular payments. But rather, kinukuha natin yung mga future values nila and then kinukuha natin yung total. We also have the present value of an annuity denoted by capital letter P. This is the sum of all present values to be made. Present value of an annuity denoted by capital letter P. This is the sum of present values of all the payments to be made during the entire term of the annuity. Ito ang illustration ng simple annuity. So, meron kang regular payments sa buong term. Ito ang present value. So, umpisa. So, wala ka pang hulog. Pag kinuha mo present value, lahat ng regular payments na yan ay atras papunta rito. Kapag kinuha naman natin yung future values, Lahat ng regular payments natin ay pa-forward at kukunin natin ang mga future values and then we get the total. Nandito sa umpisa, iyong present value at nasa end naman yung future value. Again, i-remind ko lang, to get the future value of the simple annuity, get the sum of all the future values of the regular payments. Lahat ng future values niyan, pagpaplasin natin. 
para makuha naman yung present value ng ating annuity, kukunin natin yung sum ng lahat ng present value ng ating regular payments. Example, so an installment payment of an appliance of 3,000 pesos every month for 5 months. So ang regular payment natin dito ay 3,000 pesos. Ang ating term or time ay 5 months. Payment interval, so ang, ang ating bayad na 3,000 every month. So, 1 month lang ang ating payment interval. Okay, ito yung example natin. Suppose Mrs. Remoto would like to save 3,000 pesos at the end of each month for 6 months in a fund that gives 9% compounded monthly. How much is the amount or future value of her savings after 6 months? Tingnan natin yung example na ito, ano? So, magbabayad siya ng 3,000 at the end of each month. So, monthly ang ating payment interval. At tingnan din natin ang ating interest. Ang ating interest rate ay 9% and this is compounded monthly. So, meaning to say, equal ang payment interval, monthly ang bayaran, at ang ating interest rate, compounded monthly. So, it suggests the simple annuity. Ating solution, kailangan natin isulat ang mga given. We have the R, the regular payment, and that is 3,000 pesos. We have the T or the time, 6 months or 0 0.5 years. Meron tayong rate of interest, that is 9% or 0 0.09. Now, the value of our M, since this is compounded monthly, M is equal to 12. So, find the future value, F. Ipapakita lang natin sa illustration kung paano nag-work ang ating simple annuity. Again, 3,000 ang ating mga regular payments, 6 na bayaran. Lahat yan kailangan mag-accumulate at different time, at different values. Okay? So, may kanya-kanya silang future value. Mapapansin natin dito na ang may pinakamalaking future value ay ang Yes, you are correct. Yung first payment, siya ang may pinakamalaking future value. At ang may pinakamaliit na future value ay ang Yes, yung last payment, yung sixth payment. Kasi 3,000. Hindi na siya mag-accumulate. Kukunin natin lahat ng future values ng regular payments. So pag pinag-add natin lahat yan, the future value that is the total, that is the total future value, 18,340.89 pesos. So, ganun lang siya nag-work. So, ganun lang nag-work ang ating uh, future value, finding the future value of simple annuity. Again, mali ang gagawin natin kung Ia-add lang natin lahat ng 3,000 na regular payments. Or 3,000 times 6, 18,000. Mali yun. Kasi nga, magkakaiba sila ng time. Hindi ganun nag-work ang annuity. So here's the formula to find the future value F in simple annuity. Using the formula in example 1, let us substitute the given values.
Now, the value obtained is 18,340.89 pesos. Example 2. In order to save for her high school graduation, Marie decided to save 200 pesos at the end of each month. If the bank pays 0.25% compounded monthly, how much will her money be at the end of 6 years? Again, tinan natin uli ang payment interval natin at the end of each month. So, 200 pesos at the end of each month. So, payment interval is monthly. Tinan naman natin ang ating compound interest. That is 0.25% compounded monthly. Monthly ang ating interest period at ang ating payment interval ay monthly din. So, simple and with ito. Given. The regular payment R is 200 pesos. The time is 6 years. Rate of interest 0.25% or 0.0025. Now since this is compounded monthly, M is equal to 12. Find the future value F. Using the formula, let us substitute the given values. The answer is 14,507.02 pesos. Example number 3. Let us recall the problem in example number 1. Now, suppose Mrs. Remoto would like to know the present value of her monthly deposit of 3,000 pesos when interest is 9% compounded monthly. How much is the present value of her savings at the end of 6 months? Monthly... Monthly deposit, so meaning payment interval monthly, and the interest is 9% compounded monthly. So simple annuity pa rin po ito. Given R, capital R, or the regular payment, is 3,000 pesos. Time, 6 months or 0 0.5 years. The rate of interest, 9% or 0 0.09. M is equal to 12. Find this time, the present value. Now, what we're going to do is to find all the present values of the regular payments. So, ito yung formula natin pwedeng gamitin, ano? That would be 3,000. So, kunin natin present value na 3,000. 3,000 divided by the quantity 1.0075 raised to mt. O pwede rin namang 3,000 times the quantity 1.0075 raised to negative. Kung ayon nyo ng division, i-raise lang natin sa negative times the quantity mt. So, ganito na work para kunin ang present value ng ating simple annuity. So, lahat ng 3,000 regular payments ay magbumo backward, papunta dito sa may zero time, sa beginning. Makikita natin na yung 6 payment ay magbumo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 backwards. Ibig sabihin, ang 3,000 na first payment ang may pinakamalaking present value. While, ang 3,000 na sixth payment ang may pinakamaliit na present value. 
ang gagawin natin sa mga present values ng ating regular payments ay total natin at makukuha natin ang 17,536.79 pesos. So, ito ngayon ang magiging present value ng ating annuity. Meron pang isang solution. Now, since alam naman na natin na ang future value ay 18,340.89, pwede natin gamitin yung present value na formula ng compound interest. At ito yung formula niya. Now, substitute natin yung given values. F is 18,340.89. So, this is divided by 1 plus the rate of interest, 0.09, divided by M is 12, raised to 12 times 0.5. So, mapapansin natin, pares lang din ang magiging answer natin. And that is 17,536.79. Here's the formula to find the present value P, given the regular payments. So, substitute the given values. So, ito siya. Gamit ang ating calculator. Okay, pwede nyo itry yung problem na to. And yung problem na to. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more updates of our videos. Math is so easy.